In this video, we're gonna take a look at a red ink by Sailor in that Kobe line number four. Now, as always, there's timestamps down below so you can skip around, but if you've got the time, I'd appreciate you checking out the entire video. Also down in the description is a link to the red ink playlist, so if you wanna see more reds, you can find those there. I'm an ink guy, and let's get into the first writing sample done on 90 GSM Claire Fontaine. No bleeding, no ghosting. We get no feather, spread, halo sheen. We don't get any shading. The extra fine's quite a bit lighter than the stub, while the medium is darker than the extra fine, nowhere near as dark as the stub. The extra fine took seven seconds to dry, while the medium took 14, and the scrubby for both say no color variation because there is none, and the smear test you couldn't recover if you smeared while you were writing. To have a range of experience with this ink, all of the writing samples are done with a Jinhao 159 with a 1.1 stub, a Jinhao X450 with a medium, and a Jinhao X750 with an extra fine. Then a Lamy 2000 with a medium nib was inked up, used for a day, and used to take the notes for this video. The next writing sample is done on 52 GSM Tomoe River. We have no bleeding, but we are experiencing some ghosting, especially in that stub, very little in the extra finer medium. We have no feather spread, halo sheen, no shade, but we do get quite a bit of tone variation where the extra fines, the lightest tone on the page, medium gets darker than that, and the stub gets even darker than that. The extra fine took 14 seconds to dry while the medium took 21. Scrubby for both show no color variation because we got no shading in the writing and the smear test you could not recover if you smeared while you were writing. I agree with Vita. There's a lot to learn by doing multiple chromatographies. The one on the left is done the way it's supposed to be done. A line of ink is put down and then it's put in the water for 10 to 15 seconds. And we get this very bright pink at the bottom, pushing its way up to what is a very dark red. Now the one on the right is let dry for 10 minutes before it's put into water, and we don't see any kind of difference between the two of them, leading me to believe that there might be a little hold on with the pink, but probably not a whole lot. The next writing sample is done on 80 GSM Rhodia dot pad. No bleeding, no ghosting. We get no feather, spread, halo sheen, no shade. The extra finds the lightest tone on the page while the medium gets darker and the stub even darker than that. I kind of like that way of saying all this. The extra fine took nine seconds to dry while the medium took 15. The scrubby for both gave no color variation. We didn't get any shading in the writing and the smear test you probably could not recover if you smeared while you were writing. Resistance tests are done to see how this ink could be expected to perform on a page, and more importantly, how hard it may be to clean from your pen. The smear is allowed to dry for three days before testing it. Looking at the highlighter, I would not use it in a note-taking situation because the blowout in a lowercase h makes me afraid of losing something very important. Looking at water, it lifted all the red, but not that pink, which was kind of a concern when it came on that chromatography. Pen flush is definitely doing a bit more. You start to see the very beginnings of the white of the paper coming through. Now, as with Sailor inks, it only took water to get it out of my pen, but the one-third bleach solution, looking at it here, completely destroyed it. The next writing sample is done on life paper. We have no bleeding, no ghosting. We get no feather, spread, halo sheen, no shade. The stub is the darkest tone on the page. Little lighter than that is the medium, and then even lighter than that is the extra fine. Now, the extra fine took seven seconds to dry, while the medium took 14. Scrubby for both gave no color variation, and we didn't get it in the writing. And the smear test, you probably could recover the extra fine, but maybe not the medium if you smeared while you were writing. For the inks tested, the average viscosity was 2.5, and the realm of normal was 2.1 to 2.9. Sailor Kobe number four has a viscosity of 1.35, so this is a very wet ink. If you're interested in how the viscosity test and all that's done, then down in the description is a link to that video. The next writing sample, though, is done on G Lalo paper. No bleeding, no ghosting. We get no feather, spread, halo sheen, and no shade. 
The stub's by far the darkest tone, the, me the extra fine's a lot lighter, and the medium, as its name would say, is right in the middle of the extra fine and the stub. The extra fine took four seconds to dry, while the medium took eight seconds to dry. Scrubby for both gave no color variation, and we didn't get it in the writing, and the smear test I do not think you could recover if you smeared while you were writing. For the inks tested, the average dry time was 17 seconds, and the realm of normal was 13 to 21 seconds. Sailor Kobe number four has an average dry time of 13 seconds, so it's living on the edge, but normal. The last writing sample is done in Franklin Kristoff paper. No bleeding, no ghosting. We get no feather, spread, halo sheen, and no shade. The stubs, the darkest tone on the page, the extra fine's incredibly light compared to it. Medium is darker than the extra fine, not as dark as the stub. The extra, the, I think I skipped stub. No feather, spread, halo, sheen, no shade. I don't know if I said it, it's, it's just there. It's just a red that's there. The extra fine took three seconds to dry, while the medium took six. Scrubby for both gave no color variation, and we didn't get it in the writing. In the smear test, I do not think you could recover if you smeared while you were writing. Instead of finding inks that look like Sailor Kobe's number four, I'd prefer to find an ink that complements its color on the page. I decided to go with a black ink because I do like how red and black look together, and I chose Krishna's Empty because there's an ink that I love telling people what's in the pen. Now, if you'd prefer a different complement color, then down in the description are links to those playlists. So what do I think of Sailor Kobe's number four? A nice, solid, performing red that has a wide tone variation by pen. It is pleasant enough on the page, not obnoxious or screaming at you. So what nib and pen will give the best writing experience with this ink? I like the thicker lines when they're very dark with this ink. So I would go with a very wet, broad pen. I hope you got something out of this video. And in the next video, we're gonna take a look at Mont Blanc's Royal Blue.